Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have here Undead World Hero Survival. So it's a new RPG idle game or idle RPG game that was released earlier this month of October. So I'm I've actually been playing this game. Um I downloaded this um during launch, but certain content actually was still locked for the game. So more or less we'll go through the content on all the highlights of the game and this is actually very different from not really very different but this is a very enjoyable game that is a departure from counterside or exos heroes and i like very much the art of this um this game so let's go to the heroes so you have here your index so these are actually your existing heroes if you want to take a look at them even if you don't have them so you can take a look at, for example, Henry, and uh, let's take a look at um, Helen. So skills here, this is going to be your signature equipment, which they have as a hero. So if you actually click this one, then you see the signature equipment, then there are certain changes to your hero. So you also have this version, a card um, post, and also you have here their profile so altered helen so let's take a look at the others as well it's it's really nice to see once they get their weapon they actually change their look so jones here is one of the one one of the you know um kind of upper echelon of heroes so again there is the chain so the gold the belt and you name it so that here is going to be your hero so this is actually my list you can actually classify them according to faction here. Then you have, um, if you see your heroes here, the design, um, I like the design, very cartoony, but it's, again, it's a break from what we usually have. And it's something fresh for me. And I actually like the art for this game. Let's do some level up, guys. Um... Let's do one. So you can actually only level up your heroes here. You don't level up. You don't level them up in in a content. Then you have. You can actually level up their equipment as well. And um, there you go. So this is actually my team. I'll actually put out a separate video for um, heroes per faction. Um, who are the ones you should look out for? Because this game is more or less centered on your formation and the faction. And there are actually buffs once you put in a certain faction. Okay. So again, so this is your team already, guys. For your formation, so you, this is actually your formation. You can actually unlock this up um, after certain stage 6. Um, I forgot what it is, but six stage, uh, stage 6 up, you can unlock this already. And... Other formations you can unlock as well. Then you can level up your formation um, here um, if you want to focus on the front, middle, or back. Or you can have a more balanced um, leveling up of your formation. So these are actually additional buffs to the heroes that you'll be putting there. Okay. Next is going to be your squad. So as you can see, I'm going to you know choose a certain squad, guys. So there is going to be... Um, there's going to be buffs in your squad. So let's say, for example, you you select um, a certain um, type of uh, faction. Majority of it is, for example, like here it's in blue and one is in pink. Then you get this buff. So four heroes of the same faction bonus. Then you get HP plus 15, attack power plus 15. So for those who are who are using more faction-oriented heroes, you are actually being rewarded. And for me, it I like it because, again, it it has another play to it. It has benefit. It has, you know, it has drawbacks as well. But again, I like the way that they're doing this. Um, so that is it for the faction, guys. Um, you can actually do your squads here. Um, customize your squads and uh, assign a formation to them. So you can assign a formation here, then assign um, um, heroes actually here in a certain formation. 
Okay, so that's it. So squads as well, you will unlock in stage six as well of the campaign. So um, don't um, hesitate to level up at least, you know, every day a little bit, bit by bit so that you could uh, unlock all the content here. Okay, so going back to the campaign. So here is your idle rewards. So this has been collecting for quite a while. And um, as you bump the... <laughs> <laughs> the zombies here you are actually collecting coins and as you can see the truck it's about to be filled already and this is actually a nice mini game that they have here um you also have shop items here on this side which i will not go through yet uh, all, as well uh, gems are actually usually used um the purple ones here for your recruitment and your um your gold here has a has various uses one of them is also in leveling up and purchases as well. You have here your quests, daily quests, weekly, and your main quest. So again, um, try to farm your um, try to farm your your gems as many as possible for your recruitment. Okay, so I have a lot of things to cover for heroes. I'll actually cover them again in another video because again this video would take too long if i dwelled so much on the heroes this game again has a lot of features even though if it, it's an idle rpg and let's move you can actually have your inventory here um friends inbox as well for your mail then as we start with our adventure so this is actually your your uh what do you call this this is your pve and pvp section so your skyscraper is going to be your tower and you can actually um as you go up um here um zombies are actually uh, um more powerful so again you can actually make your team here you can actually bring mercenaries here these are um heroes of your friends that you actually you hire them on your roster because you need um, certain types of heroes so you can put them here as you can see here, there's a buff already for my team. So I'm using this buff. Um, so th I'm, I'm going to do a match here, guys, to see to let you see. Actually, this content is also locked as well. Um, you have to open this. So let's do, you can actually select squads, formations here. And let's do one battle so that you can see the flow of the skyscraper or the tower. So for my formation here, I have uh, two defenders or tanks, one melee um, uh, hero and one support, which is her with the guitar, and one um, range AOE damage dealer, more like your mage at the back to the right. Okay. So again, um, this content is actually um, very very hard especially if you don't level up yourself um quickly or you don't play that often um i was actually just you know grinding this so that i could get to this level and as you can see um we're about to finish here this is going to be a very this is floor 60 by the way that is why it's it's actually hard so there you go. So there are no stars in in finishing a mission. You don't have to accomplish stars, medals. As long as you finish it, even if some of your heroes are dead, it's going to be okay. So no no worries in that. So you completely com um, completed that certain stage. Okay, so you have here Midtown. Midtown is actually your labyrinth. So you you're going to be starting here. Then you're going to proceed up here to the boss. Along the way, you see these squares. You'll be defeating, you'll, you'll be encountering certain zombies. And there's an equivalent reward per square. There will be um, uh, med kits as well. There will be items and gear. You'll also be rescuing people or heroes here as well. So this is actually a fun content to play with. I actually finished this and just waiting for tomorrow to play this again. So... You have your heroes here and also by the way once you finish off a zombie square you'll be given three um tactics where you can choose to carry over to the next square that you're going to do battle so this is one of the content that i really really like 
Then let's go to your PvP, which is your arena. So your the arena is basically um um it's not real time. So you have to pick out a certain matchup here, and only two battles actually have rewards. The rest, <coughs> sorry, you want to climb up, then you can actually just play this, you know, without rewards. So as you can see here, I'm going to choose an opponent. Let's just refresh a bit. So let's choose this one, the 800. So normally, if you choose a, an opponent with near your score or your power, usually it goes either way. So try to have a buffer in terms of power so that you could you know, assure yourself of a win. So as you can see here, <coughs> you can see the opponents already on the other side. So you can, you know tweak your lineup or play it as it is so you have your again your squads formation and heroes at the bottom so let's try this out the ass is team i usually don't tweak my lineups anyway so again the the arena um opens at a certain point as you play the campaign okay so again all your progress here will really depend on how far you go in the campaign so it's really a daily grind it's really you know um it's really you know time consuming not really time consuming but you have to set aside time to move forward in this game because again you won't be able to enjoy the game if you don't unlock the other content so as you can see here this is also this is actually a close one as well so hope i'm going to win this as you can see guys um there was a big gap in the power but again the enemy is actually has good heroes as well that is why um this is going to be very close and uh, nearly done and i still lost see so again um the matchups would really depend on the heroes that they have um she actually had helen so i i am i'm not wondering why i was defeated so that is your arena guys and you have here the zombie express you will the the good thing about this is the materials that you'll be getting here this is used for to level up your what do you call this your heroes so let's try to do again a daily reward is only up to two but you can still do this and try to better your previous score your previous high score so as you can see here we're going to be on top of a train so let's do the the default lineup so my high score is going to be two five eight nine so this is also going to be your rank up going to the obviously as you rank up the rewards are going to get to get better so again it's uh, it's going to be you uh, leveling up your heroes and going through the content so again playing every day that's i think that's the key the, the good thing about this game is you don't need it doesn't have stamina for you know to for entry to a certain content it actually is very friendly to play um anytime you could play it um if you're bored if you don't have anything to do so you can really knock yourself out with this game and finish um, whatever content and go the extra mile if you really love to redo certain content. So as you can see here, score is nearing 1 million. So far, highest is 2.5. This is taking quite a bit. So there's, there's also a timer here. Um, if you don't finish them off, then it automatically ends at that point. As you can see, um, I'm sure that the timer will will run out before I finish everything off. 100 overkill. So hopefully I could beat my top score. That's just it. 2-3. Uh, no, I can't reach it. 2-5. Went to 2-5 anyway. So again you're going to go up silver sorry i'm going to go up silver and that is your um zombie ex zombie express so these are your content guys so as you can see here quests claim your rewards once you complete them inventory will go through that later then what else 
Okay, so your hideout is basically your base, so to speak. So you have here your there are certain things in the harbor that actually you you will be unlocked as well. So it's, especially your workshop was the one that I last unlocked. So, but we'll go first with the caravan. Your caravan is actually the store for your caravan, your guild, your dismiss. When you dismiss certain heroes, you get a certain um, currency back. Then Midtown, um, the currency there um, in, in the labyrinth, you can actually purchase here. Then for your harbor, reset. Um, if you have certain heroes that you want to reset, that you've invested materials in them, let's say for example this one, you can actually have them back. But their level will, will will be you know will be left alone so the the materials that you spent with them um are going to be returned to you i'm not sure if it's the same amount that you used but some of it will be returned to you so you can do this also for dismiss for the green units that you don't use you can actually dismiss them and um you'll get materials in return so as you can see here i got some then this is also revert. So heroes who are currently ascended to legendary or higher can revert to back to epic if you want them to. Okay, so that's your harbor. Your leaderboard is here. So I'm actually here at Blue Banshees. So that is it for... So I also have a reward here. This is something new. Okay. And let's close this a bit. So you have leaderboard. You have your academy. The academy is actually a, um, a roster spots that you can put lower level heroes to have. Let's say, for example, I, I will put here um, her. So you put her here. Then she will also have 80 because... The lowest um, level on your team is actually 80. So it should also get 80. So as as the same as th this spot. But once you unlock it, the, the, the timer will actually be very long. So that is why this is actually taking too long. So that is for your academy. Your command center is going to be where you ascend your heroes into up to legendary. So from epic, mythic, um... Uh, uh, epic, legendary, and mythic. So those are the cl classifications going up. And um, I don't have usually the materials that you need are copies of the hero or heroes from the same faction. Okay, guard tower is actually an an idle you know content wherein you just have to make sure that. Make sure that they are what they call this. They are there. So every roster should be filled out. Mostly these are some of them are your friends. So the every spot has to be filled out and you just have to place them there. So as you can see here, deploy level three, unique, epic activated. So HP attack power, HP 6%. So they have buffs as well. Then you have your guild. For your guild, you have guild raids, so certain content that you have to... Why is this on fire? <laughs> okay. Um, that you have to um, finish as a guild, so I have to do mine today. I haven't uh, had it yet, so there's also a shortcut here for the guild caravan. Okay. Then you also have, again, the caravan, and the last two will be... Your cantina is actually where you recruit, um, what they call this, your heroes. Recruit with hearts is actually going to be involving giving hearts to your friends. So you can actually use the hearts to recruit as well. Um, currency for for this one would be gems. You also have uh, this one, your standard ticket, and this is your faction ticket. Okay, and your workshop. So for the workshop, um, it actually allows you to... It allows you to have a special equipment equipped to any of your heroes. So this is one the, the one that is last to be unlocked for this area. And you have also your signature equipment. Unlocks after you clear st stage 9-30. 
which is a long way to go go and ascend any hero to legendary rank so um as soon as they go to legendary rank they will be getting their signature equipment as well so that is it guys so that this is the game that i'll be covering um again uh not again but a new game to be covered for the channel and hopefully you guys enjoy this game as well um gonna be putting out guides and gonna be discussing heroes for each faction on the next video okay guys for those who have stayed this far in this video um please do consider subscribing and also guys don't forget to click that bell icon and, and leave a like to this video thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here